Oh, yeah. Well, you're definitely working with a lot of dope uh, artists. You know what I'm saying? But what about yourself, Paul? Where do your roots start in the uh, Detroit hip-hop scene? I start, I, I start in the beginning of Detroit hip-hop. I came from, wow. You know, I was I, I grew up with Eshaan. You know, that's my brother. You know, we grew up same schools, you know, watching Crush Groove, all that shit, you know, was fascinated. My older cousin, Drake Poe, he was rapping. You know what I'm saying? And I was fascinated by it, so I tried it because I was doing the human beatbox. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I wanted to rap. I ain't want to make no beats. <laughs> so I tried it. You know, I was about 12. You know what I'm saying? About 12 years old, you know, when I fell in love with hip-hop. Yeah. From there, you know, I went to high school, man, Eshaan, me and Eshaan hooked up, you know. He was rapping at talent shows. Pook went to the same school with us. Uh, Mastermind, TNT, uh, Detroit Streets, my homeboy TJ, you know, uh, Denai Porter from D- uh, D12, you know. All of us went to school at the same time, so it was like like a musical era, you know. Everybody got touched by the music bug, you know, and we all took it serious in our generation, and everybody pushed on. Eshaan became Eshaan, you know. We Didn't nobody see that coming, but, you know, he did what he did, and, you know, he who he is today, you know, and, you know, like, he went off and did his thing. I was still de- developing myself as a rapper, and ran into some of my homeboys out uh, that used the backpack, you know, and do, and do hip hop dances. My homeboy Frank and Dank, uh, my boy Derek, we we used all the dance and shit, you know. So uh, with my boy Prince Ahi, for my boy Prince Ahi, and I started off dancing, wasn't let nobody know, and I, I was a rapper. And then I finally said, so poop was like, this nigga could rap. This nigga could rap. <laughs> and I started rapping. And I let everybody hear about shit. I started rapping, boom, bam. That's when I started rapping. I know it was a long story, but that's why I started rapping. You know. <laughs> Dude, that's how I started yeah. rapping. Uh, you know, but I was in the studio. Hold on, hold on. Let me go back. Let me tell you. I was in the studio with Mark, Mikey Clark, man. Kid Rock. You know what I'm saying? I was going to Timberland, you know. <laughs> Jay Dilla. I was in the studio with Proof, the Grace, my you boy were, Jack Frost. Uh, you know? What was what, what was uh, Kid Rock like back in those days? He was real humble, you know. He was real humble. I can say that. He ain't the guy he is today. And you know, level flag flying. He was real uh, humble. Uh, country music star. <laughs> Whatever no, no, he, he was he, yeah. he was he was he was real real live, real with that shit, that rap shit. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't yeah. that old country singing and that ba da 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 da. He wasn't doing none of that. He was rapping with two shorts talking about a bitch. With some yeah. <laughs> with my old boy yeah, Black Man. Shout out to my boy sure, Black yeah. Man. Black Man. Black Man. Black Man. What's up? Shout out to my boy the Black Man. Black man that was rocking with Kid Rock in them days. I mean, this is the foundation, you know what I'm saying, pretty much. We we, we around like Awesome Dre and stuff like that? Oh, yeah, I was around everybody, you know. I I, I, I brought Eminem to a a local bar in Detroit. This is what they say it was the hip-hop shop. It it was the hip-hop shop, but on the east side it was C-Notes. You know what I'm saying? Monday night C notes. And everybody who was somebody came and performed at C notes. And I met and then them through my homeboy Hush. Shout out to Hush from the Ruckus. I met M and them through Hush. We was at Eastland and I saw Hush walking in the parking lot and he was walking with this guy, you know. He wasn't dressed too good, you know, he had some big shoes, holy shoes, all that. 
I was like, hush, what up, hush, hush. He had his daughter, I think. He called his daughter, you know. Bam, I'm like, what up, hush, what's up, on the beach, baby? Boom, 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 boom. He said, what's up, Paul? I got you. You know, back then we used to record in Hush's closet. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, "Will you going to let me get in the closet? <laughs> He's like, uh, just hit me up. And all this 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 whole time he got him and them with him. Him and them walking with him. I'm like, and he ain't saying nothing. Me and Hush are just talking. We holding a conversation and everything. Well, him and them just standing there looking at me. Oh, you know, at this time, I had my, my, my first record out. It was called Detroit Party. I was number one on the radio. If y'all rock with Poe saying y'all know what Detroit Party is, and y'all know I was on the radio all day out here. 